Hello, I'm Amy Johnson. Here is your CBS On The Go update. We begin with meteorologist Craig Herrera with a look at your travel forecast. Hey there, Amy. We're watching a couple of systems bringing more in the way of rain, scattered showers and thunderstorms back to the Rockies again. Those were remnants of what was once a hurricane, but continuing to track up into the Rockies. And then notice you've got some more uh, severe weather happening through Texas. A uh, bit of a system starting to move around this area of high pressure. So you're going to see a lot of scattered showers and thunderstorms through Houston and over to Dallas. Now, Monday morning, travel wise, you'll want to watch areas from Chicago all the way over to Billings, Denver, uh, right across the high plains and then Tuesday afternoon more in the way of scattered showers for the Great Lakes region. Now afternoon highs up to 66 in Denver scattered showers this afternoon. You're going to see a few scattered showers in spots from Atlanta up through St. Louis and a very severe day through Minneapolis in Los Angeles. A lot of cloud cover. Amy temperatures in the 60s and 70s for Southern California. All right. Thank you, Craig. Well, you know, if you've lost something on the Metro, you may be able to get it back. Lisa Siegel explains how. This is a stop sign. This is a record player, even a TV monitor. Welcome to LA Metro's Lost and Found, where exactly. thousands of items are waiting to be reunited with their owners. It's crazy, it's thousands and thousands of articles a year. Yes, if you ride a Metro subway, light rail or bus and you lose something, this is where it may end up. Two locations. Look at this, a custom bike. We have children's bikes, dirt bikes. One is storage just for bicycles. We actually receive thousands a year, hundreds a month. Most of these bikes are left on the front of buses. People board and forget to grab them. And then the bus takes off and the person's like, oh, my bike. And at the main lost and found, you'll find everything else. Some very unique. Golf clubs, music instruments, and the kitty litter. Not to mention thousands of items we depend on every day. We have tons of cell phones, tons of wallets. These are keys, tons of them. Backpacks, shopping bags, you name it, we get it at Lost and Found. Now, LA Metro holds items for 90 days. There's help online and in person to recover them, but less than 20% are actually claimed. I'm thinking that maybe people don't know enough about our Lost and Found. So whether it's a bike or a cell phone, kitty litter or a stop sign, don't feel lost. There's a chance your item has been found. And look at all these cell phones and up top wallets, even this purse that I'm holding and a wedding ring. Now these are items they want to get back to you. So we have all the information on our website about how to do that. It's CBSLA.com. And just remember, you're going to need proper identification and some information because they're very careful to make sure these go to the right owner. Back to you. And that's your CBS On The Go update. I'm Amy Johnson. Remember, we're always on CBSLA.com. And be sure to watch us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11 p.m.